What's going on, family? It's your boy Phoenix checking in with you this morning. Just want to talk to you about a uh, small topic I was thinking about um, as I drink my coffee this morning, get my mind ready to uh, go on the job site. Um, just wanted to say that your confidence will intimidate someone who doesn't have as strong as confidence as you do. And I'm going to say that like that because I have noticed how even in my life, dealing with family, dealing with friends, dealing with people I just met uh, or people who have met me and hear me say certain things and they might say, man, the audacity of this guy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or why do he speak so strongly about what he's going to do, you know? Um, there are so many... Um, restrictions to do what he's trying to do and truth be told man um i had a millionaire no bs a millionaire told me older man and um, i rented one of his buildings in fayetteville arkansas to um when i first kicked off my business venture and uh, he gave me a good deal on the building man it was a great it was a great guy and uh, he, the guy used to, old man used to ride around with his little dog. I forgot the dog name. In this truck with a straw hat, chilling, drinking iced tea, <laughs> collecting money. That's that's what he did. He just rode around and holler at different shops and shoot the bull with you for a minute and go on to the next one. You know what I mean? And I remember this man telling me, he said, "Son, I like what you're doing." I like the fact that you're trying to do something. And I believe if anyone trying to do anything, you can accomplish it. But he was like, what you got to stop doing is stop asking for permission. He said, I would have never got where I'm at today if I would have asked for permission for every single thing that I tried to do. Or if I would have went by the book like they said, oh, you got to do it this way. Now, nah, there's always loopholes. And that's no, it doesn't mean that you're breaking the law you know but there's loopholes around everything so but if you was uh raised up to believe like most of us are raised up to believe different things and majority of the things that we was raised to believe are lies so you know we approach life thinking oh you got to do this loophole or this loophole or you got to do this or this in order to get this and you got to ask this person let's cut let's throw that out the window we're going to take this stuff back to the basics you know what i mean we're going to have a dream. We're going to invest what needs to be invested. We're going to do what needs to be done. But there also are loopholes. So you don't have to go by the book, so to speak. You know what I mean? I've been maintaining my AWS welding search for two years, you know, on my own. And some would say, oh, man, you know, once you get it, you got to keep them updated. Or if you're not working, you got to, they'll go expire. Stop listening to what people say. This is for a fact. You can fill that paperwork out yourself and say, hey, I've been working for myself independently for this time, every six months, and give them your $25 and keep it going. As long as you pay them and you fill that paperwork out saying that you are using it, and if you're independent, you're using it. You might not be using it on a uh, full-time job, but if you are using it and you are uh, using it independently for yourself, hobby, trade, whatever, you can still maintain it it's simple you know what i mean a lot of stuff that i have learned that is real simple and people try to make it complicated to intimidate others from entering the field in my opinion so you know they word things differently and if you don't read or you don't listen you know some things that go you know right over your head you know what i'm saying so i would say man throw that out the window on what you can't do or what the system say you got to do because as far as getting your EIN number, as far as setting up your business, getting your LLC, getting your sole proprietorship or partnership or whatever, you can do all that stuff sitting at home on your phone, on your computer. And, and, and I mean, honestly, the smartphones are so advanced now, you can do everything pretty much from your phone. Fill out the application, send it in, do the paperwork. And, you know, it's all of a matter of time invested in knowing what direction to go to get the information you need that's the main thing having the knowledge 
and I would just want to say for the record, you know what I mean, I am from Arkansas. I was born in Little Rock. I was raised in Southeast Arkansas, McGee, uh, Reed, Arkansas City, uh, Dumas, you know, all through that, Darramore, I was all up through that area, Lake Village, you know, I would claim all of that, and, um, and Pine Bluff, um, and then I was raised in Denver also, you know, in Montbello's, you know what I'm saying, so shout out to my, um, you know, the where I grew up at in Montbello's, all my homies, I haven't seen in years since I was a kid. Most of them I don't even know if I remember if I see them again. But um, but yeah, I, I grew up different. So I grew up in the South and in you know Midwest, and um, and coming from where I'm from, it was a lot different. You know what I mean? Um, most look at me and they'd be like, "Man, you you know you look young, like you ain't been in nothing." Or I had one guy tell me, I told him I've been uh, in the welding field for 18 years. He looked at me, and said, "When you start? When you was five? <laughs> I was like, nah, man, I'm 38, man. You know, I started when I was 21, you know what I mean? And um, so, you know, I had been blessed as far as my health, you know what I mean? But I, I would sit down, you know what I mean? Like I say, I went to prison for 10 years, so you gotta think about that. You know, coming from the South, you know, coming also coming from the South, I chopped cotton, you know what I mean? I think I was the last generation to actually go in the field, get on the back of the truck, ride out there early in the morning, go out there and chop cotton, eat, eat potty meat in the field, crackers, you know what I'm saying, listening to old folks hymn and tell jokes and work and go home and do this stuff all over through the summer. I mean, that's how me and a few of my homies, you know what I mean, got our school clothes, you know what I mean, got our um, uh, first cars or whatnot, some bought vehicles, you know, whatever, you know what I mean, but that we was taught how to hustle, you know, by using our hands. Say, man, if you ain't got nothing else to do, you can use your body and get some money. But don't sell yourself cheap. Now, at that time, you know, we was making decent money, I guess, you know, to go out there and make this little money. We worked for this lady. i never forget her name. Miss SMA. Great lady. You know, rest in love. Uh, man, that lady opened up a door and fed and, take, and took care of a lot of black people. You know what I mean? I don't know if some didn't like her, didn't respect her. I don't know. But I know for a fact that she helped. Uh, a lot of people eat as far as, you know, the guy, the white guy trusted her to bring a crew and she had a crew of people, you know what I mean? She had a truck or got his truck. I don't know how she did it, but I remember growing up doing that, man. And some of my homies, you know what I mean, who see this video, they'll remember this as well. Um, but that's how I was raised, man. I was raised hard, you know what I mean? And then for me being raised like that as young, like I was like 12. Like, this was before I was 13, because by, by 13, well, I was like 11, 11, 12, yeah, because by the time I was 13, I was hustling in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I was in the streets then, so, um, you know, I, I went through a transformation on the scene, working hard, and then introduced to some cousins who, or and some people I grew up with that was hustling, and the way that they were selling drugs and riding around with nice cars and women, that attracted me, you know what I mean? But it was all a hustle. Okay, you got to do this. And then, you know, I, I just learned different ways to hustle off the streets just to survive. It was more of a survival thing from where I'm from because a lot of people where I'm from in Arkansas was, they weren't educated, they didn't finish high school, they didn't finish school, you know what I mean? But they got nice cars and houses, you know what I mean? They was doing all right, but they never, I know a lot of people that, you know, to this day, that didn't finish high school that's doing damn good. You know what I mean? That's not hustling no more. You know, hustle as far as, you know, mechanic shop or paint shop or detailing or something, some type of hustle trade, you know what I'm saying, that they doing that's not illegal, but they hustling. You see what I'm saying? And that's how I was taught. But I was also out of time, you know, taught to do illegal stuff. You see what I'm saying? So I had to learn how to separate the two and say, okay, regardless of me having these strikes on my back, I know once I get out of prison, I got to be able to go full force with my new with my new set of tools, which was being a uh, a combo welder. So you know, I started off as a combo welder, and I still claim combo welder. And I'm an iron worker, meal right. Um, you know, I'm a German. You know, I'm an iron worker, so I I represent all of that fabrication. But I started into the game as combo welder. I mean, I entered this thing learning TIG, meat, and stick. So in the um, four positions is what I got uh, certified in when I first entered. So I was able to do, you know, from flat to overhead. 
in um, all positions. And uh, just wanted to say, man, that um, all that was a challenge, you know what I mean, to get to where I am now. And I honestly didn't, you know, I didn't think I was going to make it, you know what I mean? But I endured and I pushed and now, you know, I'm here. But just to say, man, um, it doesn't matter where you start from as long as you start. So uh, let's throw all the um, old beliefs out the window and let's start new, man. Let's start with, a, you know, from ground zero and say, okay, I got a dream. I got a passion. I got something. How can I start and start building from there? You know, don't. You got to kick out some of those old uh, things that keep you down and uh, find new ways because there are new ways. There are ways that always existed. <laughs> and honestly, that's something that I learned about um, um, this new president that we got. He said something as he was entering the office that caught my attention. Uh, you know, pretty much don't get mad at me because I used the loopholes that were designed for us to use. <laughs> So I'm like, damn, <laughs> I'm like, I've been missing out. So there are loopholes, man, you know what I mean? And I'm black, I'm a felon, I'm from the South, you know what I mean? I got gold teeth in my mouth, I got a long beard, you know, I'm, I'm different. And yet I'm still in America, I'm still living this America dream as far as being independent and providing a service, you know what I mean? Things are a little rocky, but I can do it and I'm going to do it. You see what I'm saying? I know I got limitations to what I can do. You know what I mean? As far as, you know, my skin. And that's just honestly, you know, it's just what it is on certain jobs um, that I don't get. But once a person meets my character and see my work ethics, uh, hands down, uh, the, the business relationship would be good. Unless they try to, you know, screw me. You know what I mean? And so I have had some that I did a good job and they still try to screw me on my money and we had to break our ties, you know, cut all relationships. I mean, it is what it is out here. So, you know, it's a greedy place. You know what I mean? I see it. You know, they want to live, you know, that life. Everybody pretty much chases an image. And, and I have chased one, you know, like I say, coming up in the streets, like in the, the drug life. But you know what? The funny part about it, I seen it young you know what i mean i was able to to get the nice car get the girl without the big chick you know like you know i was hustling you know what i mean i got it it's off of street fame off of me just grinding and knowing how to carry myself you know what i'm saying so i'm thinking like now that i'm on the level that i am now you know years later you know when i obtain different things now it's, it's it's a whole different purpose it's a whole different shine like i'm not even tripping on you know um pulling up in this certain sort of car that i'm paying for instead of me pulling up in something nice that's paying me to drive it that's my goal so you know when i own something when you see us in something if i'm not leasing it or if i own it oh it's mine and it's paying me you best believe that you know what i'm saying some type of way so everything can uh, be written off when you own your own business as an LLC, when you are an independent home-based LLC. And that's what I stress to my guys out there right now, man. Be an independent home LLC is what you want to start, home-based LLC. I would say that to any journeyman, any welder, millwright, iron worker. If you can start that, then you can gain the benefits of not working for someone and truly working for yourself and you'll see them benefits you can make that money without going how to go through those extra orders but there are some things you got to learn you know finances how to maintain how to budget your money um take some time out learning about the business i mean none of this stuff is like waking up i got it you know what i'm saying i mean because i'm learning and i'm watching things daily and all i'm doing is passing the information that i get you know to y'all so that way you can use it and utilize it however you want to use it but i will say this before i leave um start from the basics let's start over as far as you know what you was taught as far as what you thought you had to do or what you assume uh you had to do in order to get to these certain levels there are so many ways around things that's not illegal and it doesn't take a lot you know and i will stress again $225 can start your business and, and 
that's with using $25 or more of it on promotion, you know what I'm saying? So, with you a little start, small uh, promo campaign. So, there's so much you can do. But you got to be willing to think outside the box and willing to invest in yourself. I mean, like I say, I'm, I'm dropping these videos so that hopefully you'll watch my growth and see what I'm doing and you're going to have me as a witness, at least as someone in stone that you know that came from nothing because I came from nothing. So when you start seeing things and things that you have seen, you'll know that this dude been grinding. He's, he's learning, you know, and changing as I go. I mean, that's all I can do is learn and evolve, learn and evolve. Things change. So I can't get mad at the system when the system says, okay, that door stopped. Okay, now it's time to find another door. So I'm just going to evolve, learn and evolve. And that's all we can do is learn and evolve, man, and uh, realize that there's nothing wrong with being confident. There's nothing wrong with standing up for what you believe in and what you're going to do because if you don't believe in it and you don't speak boldly on it and you're not proud of it, you know, who's going to be? You know what I mean? So I would say, man, um, we in the first quarter of the year is 2018. And uh, hey, let's keep it moving, man. Let's keep it pushing. Like I say, I'm, I'm steady fishing and. Um, I'm going to keep fishing until I finally, you know, to that right fish hit that hook. You know what I mean? And when it does, you will see it. And uh, most definitely, I will share it with you. And like I say, man, I'm trying to build a brand with Hog On um, to let people know what I'm really about and how I, I can give back and, and what my focus and goal is. My goal is to help people like me, people who, you know, restricted is, or have been beat or who just, just want to go work hard, get a check, go home. You know what I mean? I want to open up that door where you don't have to go through all the BS where you can just, okay, travel in, do the job, travel out, have fun while you're doing it, and just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And uh, be able to work on your own time and do what you want to do. So, follow me, man, if you believe in what we're doing. Like I say again, my email is hogonwelding, H-O-G-O-N-W-E-L-D-I-N-G at gmail.com. And I'm out. Black Phoenix.